Today we're in Santa Ana at the Suavecito headquarters. Yeah, so I mean, easiest way to put it, I guess, is we're a grooming product company, but it's obviously developed into something a lot, a lot bigger than that. We didn't grow up thinking that we wanted to start a pomade company necessarily, or a grooming product company, and so we just sort of fell into it by chance, and it was just something that we were into, and uh, because of that, we've tried to make it fun, and by making it fun, we have you know, build cars, we go to tattoo conventions, we go to music festivals. Yeah, so we grew up on, um, on Gunther Street, here in Santa Ana, in the Santa Anita neighborhood, actually right next to Santa Anita Park. I mean, we were just a bunch of knuckleheads, you know, not really with any kind of plan or anything for our own future. Especially during that time, we were like heavily involved in like the rockabilly scene, so like hair, hair was like a big deal to us. And buying this stuff overseas was like really expensive. So me and Pete started hanging out again. Like it had been years, you know, we'd we hung out and he was like, yeah, I'm thinking about making my own pomade, this is mad. Um, his mentor at the time, he saw the stuff that he was buying. He's like, dude, you can, you can make this stuff. Like, we can whip this stuff up. But I was like, yeah, let's let's formulate it in the way we like it, the way we use it. So we just started messing with the formula, little by little. The original way it went down was actually at my grandma's off of Euclid. It's Sandalwood Mobile Home Park. So that's where I stayed. Shout out to Sandalwood. Sandalwood. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it was supposed to be really a hobby. It was never really meant to be a business. We had a crazy idea. It's like opening a bar. So we're like, hey, why don't we open a, a hot dog? and beer place in downtown. That was our thing. We started to really look and trying to get a loan. We came up with some, this cool business plan. At that point, we're like, let's see if this hobby can fund some of the, the money so we can build this, this little uh, restaurant we wanted to do. There's nights where we would we would stay up late, like on my laptop. Laptop had a missing like few keys. I still have that laptop, by the way. Yeah, we had to be really creative because we couldn't, we were writing emails this, using this laptop. There were certain letters we couldn't use and there was certain like- uh, Numbers. And punctuation. Yeah. You know, like, okay, we can't use commas and we can't use the letter T. They were just breaking so off. So we can't use words that use the letter T. But then from there, so the phone just kept ringing. People kept wanting to buy it. And then we just sort of carried on with it. And so that's where we are now. And uh, no hot dog restaurant. Yeah, so about 2009, 2010 is when, when the name was like thought of. So we were at a friend's house and we were all getting ready to go out. And it was one of Pete's friends, like I guess she was like an old, old school chola, right? Where she, you know, so she was getting, getting ready and she said, oh, look at you guys looking all suavecito. So, yeah, I mean, it's like, oh, that's the name. There it is. We're using the product. It's like, well, we just need it suavecito. <laughs> We thought we were like a company was in the breakfast night. We kind of got someone to come work with us and we decided, okay, we're gonna like get our first office, you know, and that was like a big deal for us too. In downtown Santa Ana and in the Spurgeon building. And, you know, we didn't have a lot of money back then and so we did what we could to sort of make it look nice and presentable. And, and you know, having our own little office in downtown it just seemed like a dream, you know, and we were overlooking 4th Street. Street. It was just like really, really awesome. Before we knew it, we had like almost like a whole corner of the whole floor. We got this building and that, this was our first home you know we bought the building ourselves like with our own money and like you know there was the first time we ever had to borrow money because you know we've always been really self-reliant and and not having to deal with like outside investors or outside loans and we all the money that we make in this company we invested it into, into keeping it growing and so having enough money to buy a place like this here in Santa Ana was a big deal for us you know, we were looking for a building for like two and a half years and you know our real estate agents kept telling us to leave Santa Ana like there's not a property that fits our needs here. We were just so stuck on the idea that we wanted to be in Santa Ana. In fact, you can see our, our neighborhood from a window upstairs. And so when we got this property in 2015, I think, that was like a very big step for us. The growth of Santa Ana, being a part of that's huge. If you look at everything we've ever done, we've always branded Santa Ana on it. You know, it's just because we're proud of where we're from. We have like a vision for our company, like to do more in the community and also to invest more in the community. So even even with this building, we, we don't plan to stop here. So we feel like that's gotta be the next step. Um, there comes a point where you really have to be good back. But at the end of the day, we want to like hitch Santa Ana to it so that it's like always, it's Suavecito, they're from Santa Ana. You know, that's, a, that's that Santa Ana. Brand. Yeah, it's always funny to hear that when you hear people from out of the country you've never even heard of you know, Santa Ana, and they go, oh yeah, you guys are from Santa Ana. It's like, yeah, it's, all, it's on the map. <laughs>